Right then, um, with this question, we are looking at converting um, units of travel, okay? So, um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, straight away convert my kilometers into meters. So 5,000 um, meters per hour. If I then divide that by um, 60, then I will get, oops, then I will get uh, 5,000 divided by 60 will give me um, 83.3 recurring meters per minute. And then if I divide that by 60 again, I get meters per second. And the answer to that is going to be 1.39 meters per second, okay? So we've just gone through the different steps in that to get to the right answer, okay? Right, um, part B wants us to convert, oh, no, it doesn't, it wants us to calculate the average speed in kilometers per hour. So, um, we can either use a triangle um, or we can do it some other way, okay? But we know that we're after the speed and the, so the speed is distance over time. Now, something that I, I, that I wanna share with you, okay? Um, the speed carries a unit of kilometers per hour. Believe it or not, that is actually the formula to work out the speed. So it's kilometers divided by hours or distance divided by time. Don't avoid or hide from or fail to notice that sometimes if you've got a compound unit like this, that it will very probably help you in more ways than you would imagine. Okay, so um, I've got the distance is 240 and three hours, 20 minutes is three and a third hours. Okay, so 3.3 .3 recurring. So if I now on my calculator say 240 divided by 3.3333, that'll do, then I get an answer of 72. Okay. So my answer is 72 kilometers per hour, okay? So that's that, and um, hopefully that's been useful. Um, yeah, like I say, don't ever, don't, don't, don't ignore these compound units because they really can help you and take a lot of the work out before you, okay? All right, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.